All right, welcome back guys. Now I'll be showing you how to set up the cup in here real quick. So for the cup, I did, like because I was in a rush, I did not fully implement everything in here. But it's actually very, it's easy enough to where I do think any, every, any average Joe could actually learn how to do this. It's actually very similar to the previous bit video I made. So first you want to drag this in to your scene. And you want to scale it down how you want it to be. So I'm just going to scale it, like I'm going to do like uh, 20 maybe, might be good. No, one. Across the board. That is not good. Sue so 10. 10, 10. This has a zero. Ah. There we go. Yeah, that's good enough. I'm going to drag this up. Put in the hand you want it to be in. It does not matter. But now, this one, you can do the target stuff again. But I'm probably not going to do that for this, just for this example. I'm just going to simply drag this into where the hand is. So. Where right hand is, drag it under. And now, so the texture should be right here. It's, mine's currently blue because uh, the textures are not listed in there. But uh, if I select this and then drag this material to texture, and then the normal map, which is this purple looking one, drag that to where it says normal map. And then you can drag the texture right here. Give it a sec. There it goes. Actually, that is a little bit too big. Let me scale it down. So. <laughs> I do like five, I think. Might be good, maybe. No. Eight. And maybe eight. So drag it where you want it to be. Yeah, I think actually I'm gonna do one more thing. So I'm going to create a empty object. Drag it up here. And let me rename this. Just name it uh I'm saying cup or something like that. I'm doing this for a reason, actually. You'll see why. And I want to drag that over to where the hand is. Like so. Or where the handle is right there. Roll it over right there. Yeah, that should be good. Now drag this underneath. The only reason I'm doing this is because I like, like my pivot point to be where I'm going to have the uh, hand, I like the hand in. So if the hand grips around this, it should be pivoting with that point, if it makes any sense. So after you do that, and just real quick, I'm just, just to make it for better visibility reasons, I'm just going to hide this real quick. So to get this working the way you need it to, I, you, you got to do it. I'm doing a cup, actually. Just do add component. And you want to type in VRC. Or actually here, actually we do this. Type in sender. Add a contact sender, and then you want to lower. The, I'm gonna do a capsule, and I think it's like 0 0.01. This will vary depending on the the size of your model, so it's not gonna be 100 percent perfect. And I'm gonna do another zero two. Now do zero five, yep. Yeah. Rotate it by ninety degrees. No, the other way. One of these. Close enough. Like that. So it's facing that way. Then we use the X and Y to change the position of it. So point zero one. So two actually seems pretty good. I do need to lower this probably to home negative point zero five. Yep. Just gotta play with it so you get the where the position you want the yellow to be. You want the yellow to be where the tip is right here. Five. One, two, three, two, five, three, five. There we go. And then let's do four. No, three. Actually, three is perfect. Let's go back. One, seven. Three, five. Four, five. Five. Yeah, five. Let's do five. 
make this caps a little bit wider. Not that wide, for about three. I like to do it like this way, just to be a little bit generous with it, because some certain models are not in the same position. So, like, so, so for example, so your head might be up here for some models, but other models might have it where the head is more in the neck area, like lower down, meaning that uh, from your visual point of view, you'll be trying to put it here when it, when you need to raise it higher. So, in case you want to adjust that, you actually can do that by making this raise somewhat or different but I probably wouldn't do that because visually it won't look proper but after you do this you want to add a collision type in ST and then cap this is very it's case sensitive so it has to be it has to be exactly how this is like that and now now so that now this is basically done this should work the way you want it to work but to make sure you can toggle this so it's not always on you want to go to gesture manager Sorry, not just minute, Xbox right here. Go to animation and then create a new animation. Yeah, uh, I like to put it where other where your model is or animation folder, but I'm just gonna do it in animations here. And I'm gonna name it cup underscore on. And I want to hit record, go to where cup is, turn it off, turn it back on again, and then hit record again. And then control click on this, do control C. Add a new animation, name it cup underscore off. Then do control V, and then uncheck it. And then, then you want to go to your avatar again, then go to where you see FX2 right here. And then you want to go down, right click, oh, not delete, sorry, hit the plus up here. And then you want to name it just cup or something like that. It doesn't matter where you name it, whatever you want to. And then do the weight maxed out. Now browse to where you just made those animations. So I made them here. So here. so drag off into the scene first, like so. Then drag on into the scene next, like so. Then go to parameters. And I'm going to make a bool value and call it cup underscore toggle. And then you want to go here, right click, make transition over here. Uncheck has exit time. Uncheck fixed duration, make it zero. Then add a condition. You next type it in, so just type in cup and toggle should pop up. So when cup equals true, it should turn, it should activate it and show it in, uh, in your hand. And then right click, make a transition, go back, select it. Uncheck has exit time, fix duration, do zero again, add a condition again, add the same condition, make it false. So now when when this when, when this is false, it should remove it and not show it in your hand. That's all you gotta do for this logic in this scene. So now go you wanna go back to your avatar, click select it, scroll down to where you see parameters at, select parameters, and you want to add a new parameter, so add. And you want to control V, or you can just type in the same name as what you use for a parameter above, and then make sure it's a bool like this. So default, it it should be off. If you have this turned on, if you have this checked, what it, what it's going to do is gonna, it's going to talk, always have it enabled right when you spawn or, or like in. So you don't want that. This I would unless unless you do, but most people probably want to leave this toggled off. Now you want to go back to the, your avatar, select this again, go to menu, and then you want to go to, oh yeah, so click on this menu, go to the next menu, and per personally, you can go to where you can do this wherever you want to, but I like to do it under add-ons, just keep it a little bit more organized, add a, t add a control, and then I'm just going to name this, I think I'm just going to, or just name it actually this, like that. And then make it a toggle and then make the param equal to the one you just made and so now if I go to gesture manager and hit play and go to scene so I'm going to go to expressions toggle this on real quick and you should see it right here I didn't put it under a folder so it's, it's like just one select button 
So let's select it right there and it should pop up free. And then just to test it out, make sure everything works. So where is this at? Oh, this is sorry, I forgot I redid this model earlier by accident. I'm just gonna do drag it down temporarily. Go over here to the gesture manager, tools, and it will pose avatar. I'm gonna rotate this arm if it lets me. Like this, and then over here. And hand rotate this a little bit more curved inward like that. Then on the shoulder, rotate it up. And you should hear sound if it's working properly. You might not be able to hear on my stream or not because I think I changed my audio settings, but you should see a sound right there. And it should activate too. If it doesn't work, you more than likely have put the wrong. So if you, if you probably put the wrong name here under the filter for custom for collision tags, you probably have a space here or it's not capitalized in a proper way. But then that should be everything you need to do. Uh, if you have any other questions, just message me in Discord and I'll, uh, I'll set it up. I am working on maybe one more item for this, uh, but I'll probably release it in another update coming forward. I just want to get this uh, V3 out for now and the rest will be coming out then. See you guys later.